a red seal bill from 1966, a green seal bill from 1976. What's the difference? 10 years. Why did it take so long to get from one to the other? 10 years between $2 bills, but only a few weeks between videos where I answer your questions about this unique piece of currency. Hi, I'm John, director of the $2 bill documentary, which you can screen right here on YouTube. And I'm back with another $2 reward for a viewer who submitted a question that I used to make a video out of. You can get yours by posting a question to this forum on my channel's community page. Be a subscriber and use proper spelling and grammar, and I could be answering your question in a future video. And then I'll mail you this $2 bill. For this week, Evan Younger gets the prize for asking, why was there a 10-year gap from the United States note being discontinued to it being reissued as a Federal Reserve note? Well, lots of factors went into it, so let's start by jumping back in time, over 50 years back in time. The year was 1966. The United States had nearly half a million troops in Vietnam. The miniskirt was all the rage, and a subway strike brought New York to a standstill. But behind the walls of the U.S. Treasury Department, another significant event was taking place, the end of the $2 bill. The two had been declining in use for decades, stashed and hoarded as if it were a novelty. Its last printing in 1963 was significantly lower than when the first Red Seal bill was issued 35 years earlier. They had so many twos outstanding that weren't circulating or twos in a vault and you know since we have so many why should we keep printing them? So in 1966 the decision was made to stop printing the two dollar bill and it seemed like it'd be gone forever but a major event in U.S. history served as the impetus to bring it back. We're gathered in this historic house for an opportunity that comes to a people once in a century the celebration of the 200th anniversary of the United States, which will take place in 1976. We have representatives not only from the federal government, but from most of the states of the nation here to plan that celebration. In 75, one of the big things was the, the bicentennial was coming up the following year, and I had read a couple of things in the New York Times uh, about the possibility of bringing back the $2 bill. HR, which stands for House Resolution uh, 819, was a bill to uh, direct the Secretary of Treasury to uh, bring back the $2 bill, to start printing a new type of $2 bill. And it was sort of languishing in the, uh, that subcommittee. There was no guarantee legislation would pass. But even if it didn't, the two could still be brought back on a direct order from the Secretary of the Treasury, who at that time was Bill Simon. Momentum for reissuing the $2 bill was starting to build. The two kind of had a resurgence in discussion about it being reissued. There was a feeling that, okay, we're 200 years old now, uh, to 200, uh, we've got a bill that's gone out of favor. This is a great occasion to relaunch. Inflation had eroded values, so instead of using more ones, use them twos instead. There was also a big financial reason to begin printing twos again. At that time, they were printing 1.8 billion $1 bills per year. And what they want Treasury wanted to do was cut that back to 900 million and to supplement that with 400 million $2 bills. So you'd have nearly the same value of currency out, but you were, they'd be printing 500 million fewer bills. That was a generating factor to reissuing the two. The government was doing lots of things in connection with the bicentennial, and this would tie in nicely. So it was a way sort of killing two birds with one stone. And the argument that some people doing research for the Treasury came up with, if we flood the country with twos, they will be used. So the presses rolled, and 400 million $2 bills were printed, ending a 10-year run without any being made. But in reality, it was a 13-year gap in series years, since we hadn't seen a new $2 bill since 1963. The bill didn't catch on the way the government thought it would, in part because people saw the design of the back and considered the note to be not regular currency, but a bicentennial collectible. Everybody would treat it as kind of a special bill, and I think maybe there is some credence to that thought that this is just too beautiful to spend. It took a long time for those 400 million $2 bills to circulate. It wasn't until 1995 that another $2 bill was released. Then, no more until series years 2003, 2009, 
2013 and 2017. $2 bills haven't been printed since October of 2018. It may be a few more years before they make more, but unlike 1966, there are no plans to discontinue them. They will continue to be made for a variety of reasons, which I explained in this video on my channel. Be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching, and if you aren't a subscriber, go ahead and click that button with notifications on so you don't miss any future $2 bill content.